I'm on vacation this week and uh, not taking time off. I'm, I'm still doing my live, so welcome. It's a little bit hazy here right now, but uh, hoping that it's going to burn off. But look how calm the water is. So beautiful. Um, today, I thought what I would do is share with you um, uh, this plein air kit that a friend of mine uh, has put together. She's, uh, she's a longtime friend. She's here with me. And uh, we're going to uh, take a look at what she does when she goes plein air painting. So let me just... Uh, See if I can turn this camera around here. There we go. Good morning. And uh, we're going to just take a little walk over here and uh, see what she's up to over here at the picnic table. Make sure you mention where you're from if you're joining me. And uh, I think I'll go around the other side here. All right. Hi, Joey. Just a second. Let me turn this around. This is my friend Pat, <laughs> a longtime friend, and uh, she's put together this really interesting um, kit that uh, she created through a bunch of uh, sources. So I'm going to let her explain to you what she's done. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I've been watching, I like the plein air, yeah. so I've been watching some Pinterest and YouTube and trying to put my own little kit together. So this is what I've come up with. Um, my little paint palette that I've put glue dots on the back. You can use either glue dots. I've got magnets here. You could use Velcro. Um, but anyway, the idea is that it'll stick to my core plast. Yeah, you want to hold up that core plast yeah. so just so we can see what the actual I'll board looks like without off. anything on it. Take all this off so you can see. So this board core plast. I've got magnets that are yeah. sticky back yep. and I can't tell you where I got these. I've had them for years but if you can't find yeah. magnets you can use like I said um, yeah. glue dots that I got at Dollar Tree. They're in the book, um, um, book what do you call it? Uh, craft, uh, oh, oh the scrapbooking, scrapbooking section. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's have a look. I just want to show this. Hold up that core plast for a second. I just want to show the edge of it so that people can see what it is. It's corrugated plastic. Very, very lightweight, it right? It comes in white, too. Yeah, white. You can see it in white. She's got a black one here. And you know the uh, signs that um, real estate people put out? Yeah, real They're estate made of signs. Core plast. You could cut one of those up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, anyway, I'll put my kit together the way I. So I've got, these have been on here for about a month, and they're still sticky. And that, that's the stick dots that you get in the um, yeah. scrapbooking section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, so my my little... Um, it's got a really, really nice little sketchbook. Watercolor she's, sketchbook. I've, yeah. um, I just tack it on with this... These little, little clip bulldog clips on the back. Yep. So it's fairly secure. Um, I have another clip if they want it. Anyway, you could clip it on this side too. Yep. Um, my water. Um, so your water. Is a, this is a, a face cream jar. <laughs> oh, a face cream. Okay. <laughs> and I've got a magnet on the bottom. Yep. These are just little pieces of metal that I had. <laughs> that have sticky backs. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, you could use the glue dots or Velcro. Mm -hmm. So that, and this is uh, from salad dressing that you get with the <laughs> lid yeah. and another magnet. So that will stick. You can put them wherever. Um, this you don't need. Um, this is just um, a lid from some dressing I had or something. And this <laughs> was from uh, the dollar store that had a few magnets on it and I just stuck it with hot glue and there's paper in be behind just to bring it up so that it'll the ridge of the um, yeah. lid won't you know yeah so it'll sit flush right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's just extra pallet uh, space um, what else um, sometimes I carry water in a little bottle if not, if you're near building a cottage or a house, you can just, um, you know, get it from the tap. Yeah. But, um, and I also... 
also carry a water pen, um, water brush. Um, you, most people know what these are, I think. Yeah. So you, you fill um, the reservoir with the water, and yeah. then and then it squeezes out through the bristle part, right? Right. Yeah. And to fill it up, you can. This is a pipette. Yeah. You can fill it up like that. Yeah. Okay. And you can just fill it up under the top too. It's easy yeah. that way. I carry um, a brush, water brush. I also have a travel brush. Like if you, you know, you put the so that it, that that works yeah. well. Yeah, the travel brushes are good because they they allow you to uh, you know keep your brush uh, your bristles in good shape, right? Right, and they come in different sizes. You can order. I've seen them on Amazon. Different mm -hmm. sites carry them. Yeah. Um, this is just a little pencil that fits. It's mechanical. You can. I like mechanical because you can retract the um, lead so it doesn't break on you. Mm -hmm. And that'll just fit in there. Or you can carry a larger mechanical pencil. There. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I carry. Oh, back to brushes. <laughs> Um, I don't always carry this with me, but, um, I just keep this brush with, this is that, um, now I've overdone it here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this can you, sticky. can you speak a little bit louder? It's, uh, oh. Some people are saying they can't hear you that Oh, well. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's um, okay. This is, um poster sticky you know um stick them post, stick em for, <laughs> for posters yeah. on the wall and i just um stick it like that with an elastic you know mm -hmm. um so that works um i carry a couple of different colored um like a micron pigment pen this one is brown this one is dark gray i also have a black one um, and a white one for highlights, if I want highlights on anything. Um, I don't think I've seen too many of the brown or gray Pigma pens. Uh, did you just get those at your local art store? Did yeah, you order them online? Yeah, Oh, okay. I got them. And, okay. And um, you can get them, yeah, the yeah. art store. Can. So, yeah. And they come with a brush nib, too. So All right. if you like the brush nib, they're good, too. Okay. You get more variation in your lines, your marks. Yep. Um, oh, and a little... I have a little ruler. It's just a, it's this old, for, it's from home, home hardware. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because if you're doing yeah. a building, you might want to do straight lines. Yep. Um, All right. Oh, so, and an eraser. Okay, and that's and a kneaded eraser? A kneaded eraser, yeah. Because yep. they're easier on the, on the paper. I agree. And a little scratch if you need to do grass or something, you know, scratch out something. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's about it. I don't always yeah. carry all of this. Oh, right. and, I, and my case is just a pencil case. Um, and all of this fits in there except for the corrugated board, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. And, um, oh, and you can, if you need a viewfinder. Now, is that one you made? Yeah, I made yeah, this one. Yeah. You can buy them as yeah. well, but you, you can just take a piece of cardboard and make one, right? Yeah, this is plastic, but so that cardboard one, will work. Yeah. And that's got a square format. Yeah. Um, now, is that adjustable or is that just a square no, format? No, I just brought the square because my book is square. Oh, okay. Of course, that makes sense. But I yes. have another one made that's like a rectangular. Yeah. So that would make sense to make sure that your viewfinder was the same proportion as your sketchbook, right? That's right, Okay. Yeah. And this is just something I, I had, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I bought uh, at a convention. Yeah. And it, I fill it with. I took out the original paint. Yeah. So this was a this was a child's, um, kit, right? Like yeah. a child's little paint kit. Actually, it goes on a keychain, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I filled it with paint, and sometimes yeah. that's enough paint. You know, like. Yeah. I know, well, I don't know her, but I've heard of a woman that took this to Europe and painted with three, this for a month. Wow. <laughs>
Yeah, just those few things, right? Yeah, Gosh. Yeah, that's right. So you really can travel so light, you like almost, almost in your pocket kind of thing, right? That's right. And yeah. And um, I also have a little moleskin um, uh, sketch, watercolor sketchbook. Yeah. And it's it's narrower and it's um, it's it's about this big. Yeah. And it's perfect too, you know. Okay, and so um, that sketchbook that you have, you ordered that online, and it's it, it's a hundred percent cotton paper, right? I not hundred percent sure. I think it <laughs> okay. is, but it's from a company called Timu. Okay. T E M U, and All they right. had different colored covers, and it was either five dollars or eight dollars. I'm not sure which. All right. Um, it's been a while since I got it, but anyway. Yeah. And it was kind of cool. Yeah, yesterday you were showing me um, like all the configurations that you can do on this board with with the magnets that you've put in various places and things like that. So yeah. maybe you want to take your water off before yeah, you <laughs> move <good> that. <laughs> but <laughs> but okay. um, let's... you know, so if you want to arrange it differently, maybe you want to do a vertical or something like that, that you can move all of this stuff around. That's right. And... Uh, so, it's very versatile, and, and you just made this board yourself. This is yeah, not I something just, you... I just um, laid my my supplies out and kind of measured, and then I cut. Yeah. So um, so if you wanted to do it, you know, you could, I could change it around. I'll just mm. tape, I'll just tack this here for now. Yeah. And, you know, I could put my water over here, my paint... Oh, see, you have to. <laughs> you have to think it out think a little out. bit. Yeah. This isn't working very well right now, but yeah. uh, you know you could change things. Oh, and I also have for my paper towel. I oh, didn't yes. show you that. Um, I just clip it to the side with a small um, clip. Yeah, another one of those clips, like you have at the top. It's at the top of the board, Pat. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's underneath there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's why that's there because I had it the other way. Mm -hmm. But. Um, you know. Yeah. Because if you're anything like me, like you, you don't do anything without some paper towel, right? You if need it's to. It's windy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's and, that's and a thing this to consider. It will all sit on your lap. You could sit yeah. in a chair, you could sit on a rock, you know, and with yeah. this, um, and it would work. Yeah. So, um, so you could change it around. Okay, so some, somebody says they'd like to see close-ups of your paintings. Oh. There we go. All <laughs> well, right, I, so just, that was a little... I've just started this book, Yeah, so. okay. So there's just a couple there. But uh, this is... Th actually, these are both from the dock, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so cool. Yeah. Nice little sketches. The lovely thing about, I think, doing a sketchbook is, you know, usually you don't have an audience for yeah. them, right? <laughs> it's really nice. just for you, but... Um, it's fun because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not never anything that you're going to hang on a wall or That's right. anything like that, right? So it really takes the pressure off. That's right. And if you find a good one, you can take a picture of it, send it to the copy shop, and make yourself some cards. That's a great idea. Yeah. 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 So that's awesome. Well, thanks very much, Pat, for, for sharing your... Uh, your creative uh, <laughs> plein air kit with me. I, I know I did this last year and the, the difficulty was when, of course, I'm using my phone today. Um, and so that makes it a little bit hard to be holding the phone and teaching at the same time or demonstrating at the same time. And so you were very generous in letting me, <laughs> let me, letting me wrangle you into this, but um, uh, it's beautiful up here. We've got, uh, you know, couple of ducks swimming on the lake over there some other friends we're all up here painting for the week so you know you can see that there's some uh, ducks swimming across the lake there and there was a loon here yesterday and that sort of thing so beautiful country up here in Muskoka Ontario and uh, fish are jumping and it's really beautiful up here yeah a little less today because I am using my data <laughs> on my phone and uh, I hope that the streaming is okay, that it's not like jumping all over the place or anything like that. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, we'll see you again next week in my studio. If you liked this one, give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next week. Have a, have a great week. Bye.